Hi there, this is Izzy and today I want to have a little conversation with my Hawira Lava Burst Orchid. So my conversations are just a chance for me to show you orchids that maybe I don't show you as often um, or to tell you a little bit about the background of one of my orchids. And at the moment this is one of the orchids that I've had for the longest. That's not to say it's my first ever orchid because I had orchids a very long time ago and had to abandon a few of them along the way. And so this is an orchid that I picked up four years ago now in France. And I bought three orchids at the same time as this orchid. So I bought this orchid and I bought a Masdevalia and I bought the very ill-fated Tolumnia that's been the subject of quite a few videos now. So I bought these orchids because I'd never seen anything like them in the UK for sale in the shops and I was really excited and I just didn't know what they were in terms of orchids and it really sparked a fascination for some variety in my choice of orchids. Now that Masdevalia stood no chance with me. I had no idea how to look after the thing. And as for the Tolumnia, you can see that I haven't done so well with that one either. Now the Hawira Lava Burst has been relatively good out of that set, but I must say I've made some mistakes when looking after it. And today you can see that I've finally learnt from my mistakes and it's got these absolutely gorgeous flowers. Now, Hario Love Burst is a complex hybrid of a few different Oncidium type species, I think, but I'll actually need to look that up later. And there are some different colours of it, and I'm assuming this is a Hawira Lava Burst from the colours it has. But you can get orange ones and more yellowy ones than this. And it's got these lovely, slightly closed off flowers. They always stay a little bit cupped. And this nice speckling on the lip down there. And a profusion of flowers as well. It's very short, as you can see. The total plant height isn't very great. Um, and the other thing about it that I found is it doesn't like very strong light. So I keep it in with my lower light orchids. It's very easy to burn these fine roots down at the base. So I keep mine in bark, but uh, I was finding it wasn't flowering and it wasn't very successful. But perhaps that's because of the poor condition that I got it in. Because actually, when I bought it, this orchid just had a single pseudo bulb. That was all. And sometimes, when you buy orchids in the shops, they've really been brought on quickly to flowering with a lot of hormones or with optimal conditions. And the plants themselves aren't in great nick at all. I think that might have been the case with this one. Flowering with just a single pseudo bulb isn't natural. And the pseudo bulb it flowered with is a lot smaller than the one it's currently flowering with. So you can see, for example, the difference in length between what's an older pseudo bulb here, not the original, but a more recent growth, and the new pseudo bulb here, which is almost up to the joint of my first finger. So that one, finger depth, versus this one, a whole finger joint long. So it came in pretty poor condition. I burnt the roots, put it in too much light, as you can see. I burnt one of the new leaves as well. That was a little bit of uh, sunburn and water damage. So I've made plenty of mistakes with this orchid. But recently I've moved it to a regime with a lot more water. So I'm watering it twice a week. And it's really loving it. And it also stays on my cooler north facing windowsill. So over time I've learnt the kind of conditions that this orchid likes. And these are the first flowers it's given me since I bought it. So I'm very pleased to have this Hero Lava Burst. It's a really happy little orchid when it's got going. And I guess there's a little bit of a warning with that, that some of your shop-bought orchids can be a bit on the rough side 
and can take some years to come back from that, although when they do, they're a real delight. That's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, how about you subscribe for some more? I bring out a new one each week. Um, if you'd like to give it a like as well, feel free. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.